What's up guys, welcome to the artclasses.com. Today we are going to do a QA session, episode 16. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, how to develop your own style and um, how to get used to Wacom tablet or get good at Wacom tablet if you just started using the tablet of any kind. So, I was supposed to upload it this weekend but I got really busy so sorry about the delay. And we are still having a giveaway, the Turcom tablet, at the end of July. So if you want to enter the giveaway, just become a subscriber and leave the comment below. Uh, any kind of question that related to art would be cool. And then I'm just going to randomly pick you guys and I'm going to announce the winner in the end of July. And also, if you go to the artclasses.com, I still have a digital painting class, a group class going on, and also the one-on-one -on -one class if you want to take. Just uh, take your pick. And the Patreon for the month of July, uh, the July reward will be released at the end of the month. And if you haven't pledged and you want all these to do, just go to Patreon slash Zetaptara and you see uh, what you get for July. There might be something that you're interested and you can get for a uh, very special price but after that I will also upload them onto Gumroad but it's gonna be at the different price range because you're gonna be uh, download a uh, single video individually and it's gonna be a little more expensive I think that's it's about it and you can also follow me on Instagram uh, Instagram slash dot com slash ZTEPTRA01 and I'm also on Snapchat nowadays so just join me there um, I don't use Facebook as much anymore because it keep wanting me to pay to uh, every time I post something it want me to like okay you want it you know and it it doesn't reach uh, everybody as much every time I post an image so I use uh, uh, Instagram instead but Instagram seems to be doing the same thing because it's owned by Facebook uh, so I'm trying to find new one Twitter seems to be pretty good but it's, it's passed through pretty quick so I'm just trying out the um, Snapchat or you can just go to my website I'm always there or you know DeviantArt just go to the main page on YouTube and you see the link to all of them except Snapchat I didn't have a Snapchat link yet alright guys well uh, let's get started I blabble a little too much uh, and Wango right I've got a question would you say that you have developed your own style some people have really distinct style that you instantly recognize Say, for example, your childhood infant, Akira Toriyama, whether he's doing something for Dragon Ball or a computer game, you can instantly recognize the artist. Okay, about style, it's, mm, I don't, I think the style will come as you uh, grow as an artist, so I don't particularly have my style or particularly aim for it, but a lot of time when people see my stuff, they know it's my stuff either because it sucks or either because there's a certain flaw in it but there's a certain way that I draw face, there's a certain way that I draw body, there's a certain way that I draw um, a certain like environment or creature or something it's like the way you see the world each person has a different world view and each person has a different way of seeing things and each person have a different way of uh, see like each see beauty you know express uh, so like if you paint uh, if I think this drawing is a good looking woman some other people might not think she is um, it's just your type or if I'm drawing something that you can convey the common eye like this guy is massive right or like everybody think oh this guy is probably a brute and a massive guy but there are certain um, refinement that you, you take you're making your drawing and that becomes a style but sometimes um, that Toriyama Akira is, uh, or you know any Warner Brothers um, studio like Batman Beyond, Chain Gang, or those are the extreme um, stylists. So right, so or even uh, Pixar, Disney. So those are the style that you kind of uh, cultivate and, and make it so that it look appealing to uh, a particular audience. So there are certain ways to train yourself to do that. If you like doing that, then by all means, you know, you, you, as long as you enjoy it, do it. Um, but if you don't, if you're leaning toward a little more realistic or semi-realistic like I do, then I'm going to stay on this route. 
uh, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have a style. There's a style in the particular way of the way I put the stroke or the way I pick the color or the way I use the light or my composition. So there's certain style. Or in some oil painting, you see like a realistic oil painting, um, you see people, you can recognize it right away. Either this is Richard Schmidt or either this is uh, Jeremy uh, man or either you know there are uh, Jeremy Lipkin or certain people um, or John Singer Sargent or Anderson they have you if you pay long enough and uh, spend a lot of time and, and become really really proficient in it you won't get away with people recognizing your stuff it's because it stamp all over with your head so if you but if you want to go extreme stylized then by all means you know just Develop your own style. A lot of people do that, especially in comic book world or animation world, um, or video game. In instant video game, you have like realistic, semi-realistic, and then super style. And uh, as you see, a lot of mobile games. So either way, it's it's ultimately you choose to do this uh, because you like doing it and you love doing it. And um, whatever you choose to do, uh, pick the one that you're gonna do more of because it's gonna be better. You, you gonna do it no matter what. So it's it's not the matter of like not don't one thing I will um, advise you is don't try try to please everybody. Try to please yourself. Greco Rios right. Do you know slash have any tip to make hand comfortable using Wacom because it's hard to feel the pressure and make clean stroke. Thanks. Yes. So just think back the first time you're holding a pencil to draw, how good were you, right? So it's not like you're gonna, it's a two different medium. Um, it's like if you go out to the store, get a charcoal stick and see how you how good are you with it. So it's not, it's not that you, 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 can't, you can't expect it to be as good as what you are with pencil at the moment, but it will. Um, so just take your time, spend time with it, accumulate, think back and accumulate all your hours that you spent with your pencil, how many hours, then divide by two. Um, you're probably going to take that amount of time to get as good in Wacom as equal with pencil, just, you know, as the time. So it, it's not, not just going to be like, hey, I'm going to switch over, it's going to be good. No. Um, and also, if you change your medium, like, think about if you're using watercolor, gouache, oil, this way, um, or something, it's, it's not the same thing, but the thought process and the foundation is um, important because you already know the foundation. All you have to know is to use a tool. So a lot of time, uh, a lot of studio would hire the artists who, who are really good and because they know the foundation, even though sometimes they don't know certain tool as well. Uh, because the two are changing every day. As long as you know certain tools, like if you know Maya, and then if the company is using some other program like Max, then uh, if you're good at Maya, then you know, the company will hire you because it's not going to take that long to transition, but it will take some time to transition from one to the other. So you're not like you're gonna don't expect. I, I, I heard this question so many times, and I think people these days, or especially kids these days, you, you want instant gratification and everything that makes you easy. Be patient, just take your time and perfect it and try to gradually, don't just give up. And But if you give up, that's when you don't know the thing. But spend some time on it and uh, perfect it, make it better. And why when uh, Greco Rios writes, sorry, um, why when I'm using the overlay layer, the color I use is brighter than it should. I'm already following your step from the beginning, but the color always different from yours. I don't always use overlay to get color. Sorry, but um, I do use normal. I use overlay to pick the color that I want. Then I use normal to paint most of the time. I don't always use overlay. overlay. Is I use it when I need okay testing color or something or trying to get. Uh, certain if you need a darker value and get the darker value from that color because overlays always make things a little saturated so if you want a saturated color then you can't just expect to follow my tutorial and just, and just make it exactly like me or uh, like 
make the result the same as I am, especially when you just start. I've been doing this for 10 years. Through. So uh, this is helpful somehow. And again, um, tablet giveaway is still going on. Um, yeah, if you want that, then become a subscriber, comment down below, and ask me any question. You know, I will try to answer them all, um, whatever you can ask, and I'll pick it and which one is appropriate for uh, children. Um, and also, I have a live class that you can register, just go there, and you will um, see it. Um, then usually I have about maybe five to six people uh, in the class, uh, group class, and you can take one on one also. And don't forget to support me on Patreon. That's level two, you can get tutorial access to all kinds of tutorial every month, new ones, um, new and long and good. Um, and then when you pledge level three, you can be able to download all kinds of stuff. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and have a great day, guys. Subscribe, comment. Peace. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video and here are all my Patreon as uh, now it's increasing. So it's thank you very much you guys. This is uh, from level four and up. So thank you Cubinator, Sebastian, Rob Roberto Herb, Hanuman, um, John Holloway, Antonio Hernandez, John Saipos, Doc Taro, Steve Young, um, Hassan Ali, Paul Castle, Dominique, Samuel, Gary, Leon, Jeff, Savage, Vilas, Richard, Luna, Nera, Eric, Austin, Goy, Hammer, Tom, Angel, and Joris. So thank you very much. Uh, these are all my these are the level up and Patreon supporter on July. And if you're interested, I release a pretty cool video on Patreon every month. And you can go just follow it on Patreon. You see me post an image every week. And again, uh, video tutorial downloadable giveaway on Instagram, instagram.com slash ZTFTara. So if you want a tutorial, premium tutorial download of your choice, I'll give it away every week. And tablet giveaway is still going on, so you just become a subscriber on YouTube, and then um, I'm gonna just gonna randomly select you guys each month. Have a good day or night or whatever, wherever you are. Okay, bye-bye.